Hi friends, welcome back to my channel. I hope you guys are all doing good. So this is going to be a festive vlog. Uh, so today is Ugadi, which is Telugu New Year. Before I start my work day, I'm helping mom make the prasad. She's uh, first making rich card chutney. My mom is very good in making chutneys. So here she took all the dry ingredients and she's roasting them. And after that, she's going to put them aside and she's going to cook the rich card. Now just blend the dry ingredients and after that add the rich guard to it. Uh, so make sure that you do not blend the rich guard too much. It has to be chunky. While mom was making the chutney, I made a cabbage and carrot curry. Along with this, I also made some dal. And for dessert, we are planning to make oliga, which is similar to poran poli. It's like the sweet roti made with dal. And here I'm making Ugadi Pachadi. It's more of a drink that's a must have on this day. Uh, to make this, I've used six different ingredients and each ingredient represents, you know, the different uh, emotions of life or different flavors of life. This is to remind us that life has its share of joys and sorrows and we begin our new year by having this dish. Both my kids have spring break so they are home the entire week. It's very rare that everybody is home for a festival because most of the days uh, the festivals fall on a working day and we get to celebrate only in the evenings once everyone is back from office and school. And this is my new Puja Mandir. So I got this online from Wayfair and uh, I was looking for a Puja Mandir that had doors on it, something with a little bit of carving on it and something that blends in with the rest of my uh, decor. So basically I have set this up in the guest room downstairs. I don't have a uh, separate room for the Puja Mandir. So that's why I wanted something that blends in. And uh, this is how it looks right now. It's actually a two shelf cabinet, but I'm not going to be putting the two shelves. Instead, I'll just um, use it without the shelves and uh, since there were some nails showing up I got this wallpaper to decorate uh, the insides of it I was looking for a wallpaper that has the Indian vibes to it so I chose this one I got this from Amazon and then I got the white wallpaper for the background uh, there you can see I put the white on the back I'm also planning to put it at the bottom because I felt that maybe there's too much of design and here's the final look I got all the idols from India on my last trip. These are all copper idols. So far, uh, they've been very easy to maintain. They're not uh, turning black. The cabinet came with these black doorknobs. I do not like that. I want to change it to something in a copper or gold tone. We offered the prasad to God and then we did some prayers and then we had our lunch and we are planning to make the dessert in the evening because I had a busy day at work so I couldn't find the time to help out my mom. And since it's festival, I am wearing a beautiful sari. This is a Paithani silk sari uh, and it's in one of my favorite colors. This sari actually came with a yellow blouse, but I thought it would be too much of yellow. So I wore it with this green blouse. I This is a ready-made blouse that I got from Bangalore. And also I kept the jewelry to a very minimal. I and now we are all heading over to the temple. There's a lot of temples around here and the closest is around 15 minutes away from my home. The temple usually gets very crowded uh, around uh, 7.30, 8. Uh, but we went a little early because the kids had some class in the evening. So we wanted to wrap up the temple visit before their class. And once we got back from the temple, we made the dessert. Uh, so like I said, this is uh, called oliga and uh, or it's like puran poli or sweet roti that's made with chana dal. 
we did all our preparations in the morning itself like we had soaked the dal and we boiled it uh, for around 10 minutes in the insta pot but we couldn't find time to prepare it in the morning so that's why we are doing it in the evening after we got back from the temple The dessert turned out to be very yummy. Everybody enjoyed it. We had this for dinner and we also had this for the breakfast next morning. Do let me know your thoughts on the new Pooja Mandir in the comment section. I hope you guys like this vlog and the new Pooja Mandir. I'll see you guys with another video very soon. Take care. Bye-bye.